Fire away, so lads. Well, we'll take this one first, and it absolutely feels fantastic, to be honest. Like, I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing me saying that, but there were times during the course of the year where you know we were really under the cosh, and in some matches, the games could have gone against us, and um, in the round robin in Munster, you know, there was a huge challenge brought our way, and you know we kept battling away. Um, we found a way to win those games or to get a draw or, you know, to get something out of them and once I think we got out of Munster, it gave us that opportunity then to go back and do a little bit of work, get a bit of freshness into us and I think we got stronger from all those games really as we went on and once we got our breather after the Munster Championship, we were able to push on from there. What was it like lifting Liam McCarthy up there in the stand? He gave us a bit of a dance. <laughs> I did. It was... Uh, listen, you know, I really wanted this for the lads. I really, really wanted this for the lads because they have been an incredible bunch. They work so hard together. There's never, ever a night of training where these boys don't deliver everything that they have in the tank. And I just felt I wanted this for them. I really, really wanted them to achieve this one. And you never know when you're going to get the chances again. You'll never get a chance like that anyway, for certain. But I think Kilkenny then brought a huge challenge just that first 25 minutes. Their intensity levels were through the roof. Uh, everywhere we had the ball, there was three of them tackling us, four of them tackling us. We turned over ball. They created scoring chances. They took their scoring chances. You know, they got a great goal. The first goal in the first half was really well taken. So we were struggling on their puck out. We were struggling on our puck out. I could go on. Like, it wasn't a pretty picture at that stage. They were 196 points up, there was a six point gap. And you know, with a breeze at their back, you know, they could easily have gone another couple of scores up. But we managed to respond at that stage in many different ways. Our intensity went up ourselves, we were getting to the tackle, we were making proper tackles, we were getting numbers to the ball. You know, we had two, three and four guys there. We were beginning to turn them over. Uh, and we were efficient, is what I would say, in that last 10 minutes. What chances we got, we converted. Uh, down through the middle, we carried the ball really well, we linked the ball really well. They were the pieces we were struggling with in the first 20 minutes and we were getting turned over, turned over in that area and of course when you get turned over in the middle, it's a score straight away. But it, we were retaining that ball, Keane was linking it, David Reedy was linking it, Tom Morris was linking it, Garod was linking it, you know, Dara Donovan was linking it and Peter Casey came and linked it and we got great scores there and we managed to close the gap to two then just before half time and with the breeze that was there, you know, that was a solid performance if it was ropey for the first 25 or so minutes of it. And we regrouped at half-time, Paul did a super job in reorganising the lads. And I think, you know, th themselves even when I spoke to them initially, their feedback was very honest and very much on, on the point. They knew exactly where they were struggling. They knew exactly what they needed to do. And, you know, we've been very strong third quarter all year. Really, really strong. And uh, today was a day we absolutely needed to be strong and I think the first two plays we created two scoring chances. We didn't score them but it was an indicator for what was to come and once we got started to get the ball ticking over the bar, you know, we got a good rhythm going, we got into flow. They got a great goal again and we responded really well at that stage as well. They got the next point but we got the next, I think, four after that. So um, that was a really, really important piece as well. But once we got our noses in front and the lads came off the bench, I think we saw out the game very, very well. When did you know that Declan Hannah was out? Um, it was probably, what, let me see, last Saturday, I'd say. Yeah. Saturday. And obviously you told the team then to start to prepare. Yeah, we, we told the team then, yeah. And, yeah, that's the way it is. You know, we had Richie as well, with Jimmy Quilty, you know, yeah. two ACLs as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, we had a bit of a difficult weekend last weekend. It was, it was, uh, it was very disappointing for the lads. You know, um, they've given a huge amount to the group, and their defenders, and they're all defenders. Like we were down five defenders coming into today's game. So, uh, that's a huge chunk of your panel to be missing in that department. So, um, it's an all credit to the lads the way they responded. Yeah. Yeah, I'm delighted for Keane, you know, to fill Declan Hannon's shoes is no mean feat, you know, and 
I thought Keen has been a, a really great vice captain uh, with Declan, if you like. The two of them work extremely well together off the pitch and on the pitch. Uh, but off the pitch as captains, they do an awful lot of work behind the scenes. Um, they really do look after the group. They're very much in tune with the group. They're really, really you know, on point. You know, if you need to find out what's going on in the group, they're the two boys that you will get the, you know, the information from. But it's uh, still difficult for Keane coming out of the season that he's had, you know, not being able to be involved for much of the season because of injury and trying to get him right. And himself struggling with that and finding it difficult. And then to play in the semi-final was a huge piece for him. Having the four weeks to come into it and get ready for it was massive for him. And I think he just stepped up, you know. Keane just stepped up. And even on the train this morning coming up, the way he was getting around to all the tables on the train and meeting all the lads, he just led it and he was very comfortable leading it. And that's a really special piece for us to have at our disposal, you know, when Declan was out. So I'm thrilled for Keane. Um, I was so, so thrilled to see him lift the Lee McCarthy Cup. That was, I think, uh, he's a really phenomenal player. He's a great leader and I was so thrilled to see him up there and to see Declan up there with him as well, you know, just, John, it was good. Um, listen, it, it was it was a phenomenal second half. There's no two ways about it. Like, we dominated apart from the goal. You know, the goal was probably against the run of play, but it was still a good goal, and it, it brought the game back in and closed it again, and it made it difficult for us. You know, so but the response was good, even if we didn't get the next score. You know, it was still good just immediately after that. Um, we've had a really strong third quarter, as I said, all the season, and it's amazing the way you take confidence from that, and. You know, we deliberately pay, played into the hill today to take on that breeze in the first half. Uh, we wanted to face that onslaught. We wanted to absorb it. We wanted to feel it. We wanted to fight it and take it on. And it was difficult. It was very difficult. But the prize was, you know, to be able to take on those shots in the second half. You know, there was some incredible scores taken. And even with the breeze, even with the distance, they were still fantastic scores, you know, that the lads picked off, um, you know, Peter Casey. When the, when the toss was making that decision so was crucial? <sighs> Listen, it, I don't know what it would have turned out like otherwise, I, I, don't, I can't say, but it was the way we wanted it to be. Yeah. John, is that a sign of, like, the maturity and experience of your team that, that, that you want that challenge? Listen, we've done it. We've done it a good few times, and you know we've good reference points where we've had to face similar situations, and we're just comfortable in that space. The lads are comfortable in that space, so you know that's. Comfortable under the onslaught. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing more that they're facing there than what they're facing the trainer, or at least there shouldn't be. Um, so they have to cope with it. And it took them a long time to learn how to go up with it, but they got there eventually. John, was a funny moment there at the end. Of the game, you got the Henry Hay Declan for last year. Like, um, you know, lots of stuff he said. Like, oh, one of the like, how hard was that? Yeah, I knew, I knew if we, we had that opportunity that that was what was going to happen. I didn't even have to ask. You know that's going to happen. Of course it is. Yeah, that's. If Keane could have had. The 36 players, seven players up there, he would have had him up there. That's the way Keane is. But yeah, it was a nice moment. Disappointed for Declan, obviously. You know. Uh, yeah, John, 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 yeah, I mentioned five oh, Come on, Matt. <laughs> Matt, come on. Enjoy this one now, Matt. Come on, will you? For God's sake. Um, you referenced earlier the battle that you had to get out of the monster. When you consider all the games, then like, I think we're five down against all the Six down here today. Is this as satisfying as any of the ones that have gone before? You know, the, the number of challenges that were put in front of you. Actually, listen, I, I would hope that our body language at the end would, would tell you how much we were thrilled with the, with, the, with the results, you know. And 
we really do put a lot of effort into trying to live in the here and now. And if you don't in sport, you'll, you'll take your eye off the ball. So we haven't really had any engagement in reflection. And we've had too much on our plate, quite frankly, all along to deal with. You know, last, like, take last Saturday, for example. You know, you get two cruciating ligament injuries and your, your captain is definitely ruled out on top of what you had already. You know, like, that's, you don't get ahead of yourself in those circumstances. You just try to drive forward. You try to depend on your values that you have as a group, your work ethic, your honesty, your trust, you know, uh, the togetherness that's there as a group that, that has been referenced. Those are the things you, you, you go to. You don't go to looking at the record that's gone ahead of you or what you've achieved or anybody else's. You just concentrate on that and you rely on that as a foundation that you can go at this thing from. Just to clarify, you the two crucial injuries on Saturday, okay, it is. Well, we were, they, were, they, were, uh, they were diagnosed spot on the, uh, I think it was actually, Jeez, my head isn't going right there. Yeah. It was either Tuesday or Saturday. I think it was, I think it was the Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Just Tuesday, that's your previous? Previous Tuesday. Previous Tuesday. Was that, was that Richie? No? Richie English, yeah, and Jimmy Quilty, yeah. And? Jimmy Quilty. Right. Yeah. So on top of everything else you've had thrown at you. Yeah. This year, yeah. John, you had your head in your hands just before Deacon's goal. It, it, it's almost as if you felt something was going to happen. Who's goal? Deacon's going, Pike Deacon's going. Oh yeah, I could see what was happening. I could see it. I was behind it, I could see it. I knew what was going to happen. And the ground was so solid today, you know, all credit to the groundsman, the pitch was solid. Like it was, it was, there was a bounce off the ground, but with the wet surface, keepers had no chance when the ball went low today. You just couldn't, because the ball was actually accelerating out of the bounce into the net. So once he got it, I knew if he hit it low, it was, you know, cuttings, so. Okay, folks, we'll there. That's it. Thanks, lads, for everything during the year. <laughs> All right. Thank you.